Konnichiwa guys, welcome back to Treasures for Trigger, this is Phil, a Kiwi in Japan. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, one I haven't done for a long time, but I thought this was definitely worth sharing with you guys. I managed to pick up a bulk load of uh, vintage Playmates TMNT figures. Uh, there are 46 figures here uh, in the lot, so um, I guess a, an early Christmas present to myself. About half of the figures I have in the collection and half the figures are new ones to me. I, I paid a little bit for this, but the seller did drop the price by quite a bit and the price was right for me and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to get those figures that I needed. So let's uh, get into uh, this bag and uh, see TMNT goodness inside. Oof. Okay, so it's more of an unbagging uh, than an unboxing. I'm just going to poke my head in and see, see what I can see inside. Alrighty. None of the figures have been wrapped individually. Wowzers, this is going to be fun. Okay, so the first one out of the box, we've got Ray Filet and he is a little bit sticky one of my favorite characters and this is a different color variation from the ray filet that i had so that's that's awesome ray filet lucky dip oh yes another figure that i i don't have uh, mutagen man oh wow very very cool look at that sculpt outstanding I've never held this figure before, so that's very cool to have him in the collection. We've got Ground Chuck. 46 of these, so <laughs> I'll have to go at a bit of a pace. Uh, one of the classics, we've got Casey Jones. His golf bag, an empty bag. I feel special. <laughs> so uh, we'll see if he's got any of his weapons. There are a few weapons with some of these figures. They're probably uh, down the bottom of the bag, so we'll see how we get on with that. Casey doesn't like to stand. Going into the lucky dip. We have got this dude <laughs> with his uh, with his shield. Napoleon, is it? Let me double check. Great sculpts on these, eh? We got Usagi. All right, this is one guy I do have. Looks like he's missing a, an arm plate there. He's a cool figure for sure. I'd love to get space to Sagi. I don't think he's in this lot. All right, awesome. Another guy that I didn't have. We've got Sergeant Bananas. And he is Bananas. Ah, yes. So choice. Ooh. All right. Is this Chrome, chrome Dome? Yes, it is. Quite a small figure. Now, I'm not sure the story about Chrome Dome. Is he an incarnation of uh, Shredder or something? Johnny, let me know. <laughs> All right, we've got General Trag. And he's got some weapons, so I've got this guy. Again, he's a bit of an army builder. He built this guy up a bit. One of the best sculpts in the line. And he's got a couple of his weapons. Fantastic. So yeah, a bit random. Some of them have weapons, some of them don't. Okay, I think this one's going to be the 10th one. Scumbug. So I had him. So yeah, I guess the plan is um, doubles. I'll, I'll try and sell off and make up, make up some of my losses. Not losses, but make up some of the uh, expenses for getting this lot. All right, one of my favorites, Ace Duck. Very cool. His wings aren't too flimsy. And he does have an egg bomb. So I think that's something that I was missing. And there are is this a couple of versions, so this is the version where his cap plugs into the hole in his head. <laughs> Got myself two or three ace ducks now. Such a cool figure, he reminds me of um, Howard the Duck. Right, dipping in, no looking. Oh, I grabbed two. Two were having a, a dance together. Alright, so we've got the classic April O'Neil. And one for the army, another foot soldier. So I think that brings my total of foot soldiers to three, possibly four, which is great. And I love the zombie looking 
I, lo I do love the zombie looking sculpt of the foot soldiers. Um, I know it's not totally accurate, but they look great when they're all lined up on the shelf together. Okay, rocking along. What have we got next? Whee! All right, we've got probably my second favorite. We've got uh, Triceraton, Triceratron, missing his tail, unfortunately. I did have him. Maybe his tail is at the bottom of the bag. <laughs> okay, we've got this little body dude, Fuji Toy, Fuji Toy. Got him as well. Alright, digging down. Alright, we've got another classic here. We've got Baxter Stockman. Great with his uh, accessories in his back there. Very cool. You gotta have one of you gotta have a Baxter in your collection. In pretty good condition. Right, who have we got next? Okay. Muckman. All in his head. All in his back. All in his stomach. <laughs> so not much to this guy. Another one that I did have, fortunately. A lot, of, lot more gems in here. One that I've seen other YouTubers post and I've been very envious of is Murdude. I finally get a Murdude. And, um, wow, he looks fantastic. Great colours, great sculpt, soft head, spongy head. Great, what an awesome looking figure. Yes, got him in the collection. So yeah, it was figures like that that really was like, okay, if I don't get this bulk lot, if I don't, you know, um, get the credit card out, very unlikely that I get a chance to get um, a lot of these figures in the future. Cool. Panda Khan, another one of my favourites, and I didn't have any of his weapons, so he's got his blaster there, his axe. What a wicked combination of weapons, and just a, another great look. Some weird colouring on going on, but again, I'll try and uh, tidy a lot of these up. Wow, 46 is a lot of figures. All right, we've got a uh, wing nut with his belt. I do have one of his uh, wings here. I'm assuming another wing, or hope, I'm hoping another wing is in the bag somewhere. Get sussed out. Whoa, okay, another one that I've never seen or heard of before. We've got Mona Lisa, a tiny figure, very rubbery, quite a different um, yeah, material from the other figures. Not a character that I'm familiar with at all, but a later release figure. One to have in the, uh, the vintage collection. Oh, this is so much fun. You gotta love vintage team and tea. All right, yes, a couple of buttes here. We've got um, Slash, and uh, I didn't have, I've got a Slash with like one leg and one arm, I think. So we've got a, a good a good looking Slash here with his, a lot of his purple clip-on accessories and belt and his claw there, that is awesome. What a great looking figure. So yeah, that's a big, big upgrade from the, the slash that I had. Oh, he's fantastic, he's probably one of the favorites that I've pulled out so far. Uh, he just looks so much better than the one that I <laughs> than the one that I had. Now, we've got one of the uh, the movie characters, is it Razor? I can never remember who is who. Um, yeah. We've got Raza. One that I didn't have, I've got Raza, Raza and Toka from the Mutations. They're great figures in the Mutations line, but I didn't have him out of the Basics line, so he's hard to come by in Japan anyway. I never see this guy pop up, so I'm stoked to see that he was... Um, he's got a great sculpt too. He's smaller than the Mutations version, but... Okay, dipping down again. Oh, okay. By chance, we got his, uh, his partner there. Okay, so look, Toka. Didn't have this guy in this version. I had him in the mutations. Outstanding. Oh, Toka's so cool. He looks very much uh, like something out of um, the Dark Crystal or something. Okay, we've got Metalhead. Those eyes glow. Cool, with his backpack. Okay, we've got to move along. <laughs> Oh, buddy, I am so happy to get this guy. And I know he's one of my mate Zazel's favorite characters. Monty Moose with one boot. Oh uh, yeah, again, when I saw this figure in the lot, I was like, yes, this is definitely one that I want to get. Another hard one for, to find. And another hard one to stand up. <laughs> right, one of my faves, we've got Bebop. Love, love, love Bebop. My, probably my favourite figure in the entire basics line. And we've got a dirt bag. We've got a dirt bag, but 
got a weapon with him now, so that's awesome. Fortunately missing his tail. Question is, are there tails at the bottom of the bag? <laughs> I couldn't see in the uh, in the photo of the uh, of the of the sail. Okay, we've got Leatherhead. Another classic. Very cool. All right, we've got some special ones coming now. Now these ones are quite hard to find. Now this is from the the Toons line. And is that Zach? I don't think it is Zach. It's Dask. Again, very bit like a bit like Mona Lisa. Quite rubbery, a bit smaller in stature. But again, quite a cool sculpt, cool colours. Again, I don't know much about these this character, but um, yeah, it's going to be good fun uh, looking into his uh, his backstory. Getting towards the bottom now, we've got Pizza Face. Another one I didn't have, you beauty. And another <laughs> wicked crazy sculpt. Very, very nice. Mondo dude. Yeah, popular guy, Mondo. Does he have a skateboard? Maybe not. Genghis Frog, another absolute classic. So very stoked to get him. Cool dude. Love that Hawaiian shirt. Picking up a handful of accessories at the bottom here. Um, looks like this could be dirt bag backpack there, I'm thinking. I love it how the accessories are like co colour coordinated. Ninja Pizza, that's gotta be um it's gotta be Pizza Face's uh, shield. So yeah, stoked. So there there were probably more accessories than I thought. Very nice bonus to have. Yeah, there's a lot of collectors say so it's nice to at least have one or two accessories for the uh, figures to hold on display. A uh, couple of, yes, a couple of extras for G Genghis with sunglasses, pedal, pedal gun or something. Got Casey's bat. Right, a few other random accessories, I'll sort those out uh, shortly. All right, yes, Nozzy Beauty walkabout. He's in much better condition than the walkabout that I had, so he's going into the uh, onto the display shelf. We've got a tattoo-less tattoo. -less tattoo. <laughs> Another cool character, one that I picked up recently, but he's not easy to come by either, so very happy to get him. Right, we've got classic Krang here. Fairly common uh, figure without his um, accessories. All right, we've got another one of these Toon, toon characters uh, to go with, was it Dak? Dark? But she is Carla. Kayla, Carla. <laughs> and nice, so we've got the trio. So cool, I've never seen these guys advertised for sale before over here, so the fact that they came in the, uh, the lot, what an absolute bonus. So a lot of value there with those figures. Another freaky dude, we've got Worm, one, one of the maddest, maddest sculpts released, <laughs> very cool. I've got the camera quite far away from me because I just need the space to uh, put, put the figures, which uh, you'll be able to see together shortly. Now I'm really happy to get this because I have a couple of shredders and he's obviously not a rare figure. But I did not have a cape with my shredder and he just looks a thousand times better when he's got his cape so not very cartoon accurate but um, an iconic figure definitely in the uh, original release and yeah he just the cape completes him so that's awesome. Oh all right so this guy also grabbed my eye when I saw the photo. Finally Look at this, what an absolutely beautiful looking figure. Again, one that I've never seen being sold uh, online in Japan individually. The fact that it came in a bulk lot was like, yep, yeah, this is something pretty special that I'm going to have to try and uh, to get. Yeah, wow, I'm really, really impressed uh, with this guy. Again, I can't remember his name because it's not a figure that I've ever had. It is Hothead. Makes sense. Oh, what a dude. Yeah, awesome. Definitely have it. has that Asian Asian feel to him. Check him out. 
Well, he's one of the favorites so far. All right, we are getting down, I think, guys. Thank you for being patient down to the nitty gritty now. Okay, I found the other wing to wing nut. Rat King, another classic figure. Quite a common figure, but yep, in pretty good nick with his, uh, with his belt. Love that belt with his, uh, with the, the cat roadkill on it. <laughs> uh, playmates just, they just hit this line out of the park, didn't they? Uh, another one that I'm super stoked to get, a mouser. Not easy to find these, uh, these vintage ones. Like his, uh... Yeah. That he's got he's got his foot on his on his nose there ah oh, awesome again just a very basic thing but just, uh, an iconic robot figure character out of out of the series and just something that i've never had before so so cool all right so we got a, a shredder now we have a splinter too such a lovely figure we've got some buddies now and we've got uh Good old rock steady to go with Bebop. We'll put him down the back of Bebop. Do you have a preference, guys? Are you a Bebop or a rock steady fan? I'm, I'm definitely um, Team Bebop. Yes! Krang in his android body. Now, this is a smaller version. This scales with the other figures. Have wanted a Krang in the android body for such a long time. 1994 release so yeah i wasn't sure i saw this in the photo i wasn't sure if it was a bigger scaled one or not for me something like this is rare as hen's teeth so the ability to get him in this lot i'm just so stoked about that that's so great you uh, know that's the last figure that i've pulled out of the uh out of the bag at the bottom <laughs> bottom of the bag we've got a few um Oh, so we've got another. So we've got two bats for uh, Casey Jones. Um, I've managed to find a, a rat to put on the Rat King, um, an egg, and a couple of other accessories. So I'll get all of that sorted out, guys, and then I'll flip the camera around and we can have a good look. Thank you for your patience. Ah, stoked. See you soon. All right, so here we go, guys. This is the uh, the lot on the table. So fantastic, look at all that color. I would say almost half of them I didn't have before in my collection, and half of them I have, some of them without accessories, etc. cetera. So um, this is gonna be great fun to sort of go through, pick out the better condition ones, um, uh, match up accessories. But yeah, small things like Shredder having his cape is very cool. Um, figures like Hothead, absolutely outstanding. Um, getting Krang with the android body, uh, Mouser, so so cool. So yeah, a good distribution, maybe half and half goodies and baddies I guess. Um, but definitely some of my favourites uh, would be the Krang, the Mouser, uh, getting hot head as I said Getting some accessories there for dirt bag although he's missing his tail I can do a wee switch around and put the dirt bag with the tail Yeah, a few um, Sergeant bananas Metal head ones that I didn't have. I really really like slash. I didn't realize how awesome he was actually uh, the trio at the back there, great to have them. And I know they are quite high up on a lot of collectors' lists. Monty Moose, absolutely wicked, wicked, wicked figure. And Mur Dude as well. Such a sweet, sweet figure. So, yeah, um, 46. Yeah, really, really happy to get all of these guys. Really happy as well to get Razar and and talker in the uh, in the classic in the I guess the basic classic line as opposed to the uh, mutations line mutations is far more common in Japan I think than uh, these guys for whatever reason maybe Ninja Turtles became more popular slightly later on as a guess um, uh, awesome to get Panda Khan with his accessories too. 
Mona Lisa is a, a, a weird looking figure. But yeah, I've said in other videos, you don't come across Ninja Turtle figures or use vintage Ninja Turtle figures uh, in store uh, in Japan, like at the used shops. But they do come up a lot uh, on the online resale sites, like, you know, your sort of Japanese versions of eBay, etc. So that's uh, kind of, kind of interesting, I guess. So yeah, Ninja Turtles definitely was a thing over here. Anyway, guys, that's enough of me showing off. I haven't done an unboxing for a while, but I thought this one was definitely worth sharing with you guys. Yeah, I hope you've been, enjoyed coming along on the uh, Ninja Turtle unboxing with me. So this has been Phil, a Kiwi in Japan, TMNT for Trigger, Treasures for Trigger, and we'll catch you next time. Kawabunga, dudes. Bye.